talking about? What's up, True Feelings Gang Gang? Okay, a few of you been requesting me to do me, you, and my ex. Uh, so we just gonna do it. Sorry, you guys. I've only watched the first episode. I tried watching the second episode. Watched so much of it. And then my Cox cable just turned up the hell off. We gotta get a new cable box so I keep doing dumb shit in the middle of me watching shit. So... I'll give you what I got so far off this one couple. There's two others that I'd like to do, but of course you know, this one is the one that interests Today me I'm the most. Today I'm moving in, my girlfriend came with Jessica, the kids and I. She and I have been dating online in about nine months, and I have to see if uh, our relationship can go anywhere. Oh my gosh, this is so cool, I'm meeting everybody right now. <laughs> Now, first of all, I don't understand why he don't he just stay with his damn wife. If she's still shaving him and shit, his nipples and shit, and you got a whole ass girlfriend, that shit ain't cool. You might as well just stay with your damn ex-wife. The relationship that Jerry and I have is very complicated to explain. It's more than a friendship, but less than a sexually intimate relationship. There's none of that. He living in a house with you with all the damn kids but like he said is his home he could do what the hell he want so he bringing in this girlfriend that he's known over the internet for about nine months to come live with like her never even heard her name like have they ever heard of her they know nothing about her i wouldn't do it if i didn't have a good feeling about her jerry what? you don't even know this person i mean i just need to, to, to figure this out i'm gonna make it happen it's my house I think I'm done with this conversation. So that's how that story goes. Now, the way the woman got there, the wife got there, is apparently he got sick and he, she had to take care of him. She moved, she moved from Utah and brought the kids with him. But they ain't in a relationship, but they close enough to be in a relationship, re, in a relationship, but they don't do the nasty. But they just do other shit like, like this. I think that was an alarm because it was time for my oatmeal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I usually sit on his lap when we have breakfast. This bitch thinks she's so clever. But I can see what Jessica's doing. But here's TLC doing dumb shit like they always do. I don't know if you caught it. The boy was already sitting in the house. The suitcase already in the house. Why did she come to the door like she just got there talking about, oh honey, God. I'm home? I'm like TLC don't start that shit, but they gonna do it. They gonna get there's gonna I, you you know how they are. They all all these damn networks are doing the same dumb ass dumb ass shit. That's okay. We still gonna watch. So he's showing her ass around the house. She got her drink in her hand. So she's just having a good time. Just like, oh my God, she just feel like she is in a castle. She's in awe of the architecture. And she just say, she really say some really when Jerry first told me about his ex-wife living in the same house, the truth of the honest of the matter of the fact is, I was pissed, enraged. She really does. You need to calm down with that damn baby hair. I'm like, girl, babies ain't got that much baby hair. You need to calm down on the baby hairs on your damn frontals. <laughs> Now let's just get to the sleeping arrangement. Because as an African American woman, I felt some kind of way about how he put her ass in the closet. How did he pick the closet out of this whole entire house? Like, like as if that's the cutest thing. Like, no, like, how, who gave you that idea? I'm starting to think he had some conversations with Jessica. She is your guest. He could have slept in a closet. You don't bring somebody to your house in the only room out of this big ass house. You put her in the closet next to you. And the reason he said he did that was she thought she was sleeping there. He's like, no, I don't want my daughter to be confused um, when she comes in the bed with me because she's always in the bed with me. And I'm sitting there thinking, ain't she confused that you moving this girl all up into your house? That's not confusing for your daughter? I'm sorry. This shit is fake too and made up because I don't know why would anybody would even want to do this shit. I think that uh, he got her over here and talked this girl into doing this shit so they could help pay for his damn medical bills when he was in the damn hospital that he probably owed money on. No. You I could be wrong, you know how I just be making shit up as I go along. 
So apparently she wasn't going for that shit. She's like, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm like, no, no, don't treat, treat me like I'm the maid. You're going to just put my ass in the closet? That shit ain't cool. That shit wasn't cool at all. That really, really annoyed the shit out of me. So now they move their ass down to the basement. She's like, I'm going to just go sleep down here in the basement, okay? Now here come the ex-wife talking shit that he should talk to his 21-year-old son. No, I didn't say, son. is he fine with that? I said, did you talk to him about it? Uh, he's, there's been people that have seen him before. Okay. So, I guess. I, I just am saying, please give him the respect of just, like, at least having a, a voice or an option or... First of all, this is a grown-ass boy. I ain't got to tell him shit. I pay rent here. When he start paying rent and helping with the mortgage, then he can say something about the space. Other than that, he 21. He ain't got shit to say. That's just the ex-wife want to come down there and be messy and talk shit and kind of have the upper hand because she has the children. So she feels as long as she has the children, she will always have the upper hand. And she will. Like I said, I don't know why anybody would want to do that. I would feel uncomfortable being in the house with my boyfriend's ex and all his kids. I just wouldn't want to do no shit like that. So whatever. Like we, we, we know all this shit is just made up. We just watch it for entertainment at this point to see where it goes. Now, now, one thing I can't blame that ex-wife, I can't blame her for saying she ain't cooking her damn breakfast. That's his damn company. It's like, you make her food. I cook it for these kids and my she kids only. thinks that I'm going to make her breakfast in the morning, and she's like, for her rude awakening, because I'm not going to. Like, I mean, I'm not taking, like, her breakfast order. Right. You want her to eat, you make that damn shit yourself. I don't blame her one iota for that shit. You damn right you better make that shit yourself for her. I'm not doing it. Or have her ass come in here and help. That's what she should have did. I just was raised in a family. If you go to somebody's house and you stand overnight, you need to get up and help with the housework. At least offer to help. Help with the cooking. Be a help. Don't just be there like you at fucking uh, uh, at the Marriott. It's like, no, no, girl. You are not at the Marriott. Get your ass in here and cook your own food. I honestly look at this relationship and I don't see it going anywhere. It's just um it's just there for entertainment. I don't see it going anywhere. Um don't see her liking wanting to stay there. It just seems ridiculous to me at this point. That scares me a little bit. Anyway, that's all I got. I ain't got no more. I have not watched the second episode or the third one. Because like I said, my cable keep acting up. But I'll get to it eventually. Don't be an asshole and enjoy your day. And I'll see y'all with something else tomorrow. Bye. No, that's, no, no, no. Mira, 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 mira. Escúchame.